anterior that a lot of people have weakness in and that you might observe that scapular winging. Um, so the test position is in uh, shoulder flexion, a little bit above 90 degrees, and you're going to palpate along where the serratus anterior is. So that again, you're, you're checking to see is that muscle actually working during the action. So can you uh, hold that position? Good, good. And then you're gonna check, can she go through the full available range? So can she lift her arm all the way up? Good, and then scapular upward rotation and abduction. So now you bring her back to the test position. This is more of a, a mid-range position. And then you're gonna apply resistance at the distal humerus. And I'm gonna have you uh, scooch this way for me off the edge. Okay, so because the, the serratus anterior does scapular abduction and upward rotation, we're going to try to stimulate downward rotation and adduction. So my force is gonna be in this plane. So we come up into the test position, palpate the muscle, and then hold this position and don't let me move you. That was great. Good. Um, and you're also observing, does she start to wing? Um, is there any sort of shoulder shrug happening? So those all can mean that, um, that there's weakness and that she's breaking from the test position. It's not just that she totally gives, and this came up with a couple of other uh, of the muscle testing too. Um, it's at the point where she's unable to, uh, to maintain her scapula in the position that you're testing. Um, so she did meet my resistance. Let me try it again. So she's in that upward rotation and abduction. I'm palpating her serratus. And then go ahead and hold, min, mod. So she's good. So we don't see any winging or compensation. So I would give her a five out of five strength on that. Okay, so that's serratus anterior. Uh, for scapular elevation, this one's pretty simple. Can they shrug their shoulders up towards their ears? Good, if they can do that, then you can apply resistance down. That one's pretty easy, upper trap, scapular elevation. Shoulder flexion was text, test the anterior delt in the coracobrachialis. So this, this really is pretty much like your isometric strength uh, screen. Um, so go ahead and flip around to the side. This one doesn't vary much from your isometric test that we did. Um, so you check the full available range. Can she go all the way up into shoulder flexion? You bring her back to the mid-range position stabilize the scapula, and then apply resistance perpendicular to the humerus. And again, your mid, mod, and max. Good. And can she meet that maximum resistance? Okay. Abduction is a little bit different than your isometric test, so go ahead and flip and paste that way. So for abduction, you are gonna be testing in, that, in the plate of motion. Um, uh, of the frontal plane. So first, check the full available range. Can she do full abduction range of motion? She gets a three automatically. You bring her to mid-range. Um, and for this one, the, the palm can face out. So, um, And then you're going to apply resistance at the distal humerus, stabilizing scap, and applying directly down perpendicular. maybe do one more. So scaption, um, there's not a, a picture of, um, but scaption is a, is a functional movement, and so we can test, uh, mm -hmm. test the muscle strength of, this combines both deltoid and supraspinatus. So this plane of scaption is midway between flexion and abduction. So kind of at a 45 degree angle up. So you would first test to see, again, can she go through the full available range in scaption? Mm -hmm. Good, so she has that full available range. And then you're gonna put her in mid-range, stabilize that scap, and then apply resistance. Min, mod, max. Okay, good, okay, so that's I didn't, that one's actually not in your, uh, in your text, so, um, so just kinda keep note of that one. Okay, so let's just do those ones. 